Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Nick from NickWilt.com, and in today's video we're going to be going over the basics on how to access an Apple desktop remotely from a Windows computer. I read a fantastic article about how to do this on MacWorld.com, and I'll make sure to leave a link to this in the video description, and it's pretty much a very simple process. All you need to do is download a VNC client on your Windows PC, and then tinker with some settings on the Mac, and then you should have everything you need to get started. So for this we're going to be downloading Tight VNC, which is a free download that you can download from tightvnc.com. I'll make sure to leave a link to this in the video's description. Once you download Tight VNC, then we have to go over to the Mac and tinker with some settings. So I actually have it right over here. We're going to full screen this. I'm going to click OK. And so then on the Mac, you want to go up to System Preferences, go down to Sharing, and then make sure you check mark the Remote Management tab. Make sure that Remote Management is on and then click on the computer settings button. Then you have a couple of different options you can check mark. I usually check mark allow anyone to request permission to control screen, but I also set up a password through VNC viewers can control screen using a password. Once you set yourself a password and click OK, make sure you take mental note of this IP address right here. So 10.0.0.189 is my address. Make sure you write that down somewhere or commit that to memory. And then we're gonna hop back over to the PC. So let me just exit out of there, and I'm actually going to completely get out of that setting. So once you're back on the PC and you want to remotely access it, we're going to have to check out the Tight VNC application. So if we scroll down here to Tight VNC, make sure we open up Tight VNC Viewer, and that will give us a little box that looks like this. In the box that says Remote Host, simply just type in that, I type in that IP address that we saw before, and then click on Connect and I'm going to type in that password that I set back on the Mac. And then once we open that up, it'll prompt us over to the screen of our Mac. We can just type ourselves right in. I can click full screen. And then there we are. I'm remotely viewing my Apple computer from the desktop of my Windows computer. And then I can go in, change all the settings I want to, do whatever I want to, and essentially just remotely access my Mac from my PC. And that's pretty much it. There's not really much to it. It's real nice and easy. I'll make sure to leave the link to that article I read on MacWorld.com as well as to the Tight VNC website in the video's description. I hope this helped anyone that was having any issues. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.